Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more Theatre Shattering. So, since we still have a lot of time before another winter, we are going to explore the other island. At least this small island right here. See if there's anything interesting. But probably also the main island. I would like to find at least one tier 3 resource. And I already prepared the group. We got the usual four people and also the kid for some more experience. Which means I got this guy for gathering and he will also have some useful abilities like this fract. And he is also using the horse, which will increase our group carry limit. Then we have the warrior, the shaman and the hunter. So we'll see how that goes. We got some pretty decent damage now. Could have been better, but without some better classes, I don't think it will go up much more. Oh, it might be a good idea to get rid of that spider lair before we leave. I wouldn't want to have anything nasty spawning out of it. And we are literally already here. Might as well just clear it. Not to mention it's more experience and we got more research material. Yeah, that works just fine. And now we can go. Here's another witch. Yeah, I don't want her to steal our kid. I'm going to say no, because that can definitely be one of the outcomes. And summer is going to be perfect time to gather some higher tier resources, because we get experience for gathering. Well, there's the island, and we got more mysticism, and this guy is actually using a mysticism weapon. That is useful. Alright, so like I said, our goal is going to be finding at least one tier 3 resource. Here we got some gems. That is actually useful, but maybe not yet. Oh, I think we should get at least one more advancement point, in case we find, let's say, tier 3 gems, because then I will need to unlock tier 2 gem, and that will require 3 points total. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, let's do it. I have lots of food back at my village. Yeah, we got lots of stuff. We can always continue gathering it later. Just unassign everyone for a moment. And we'll do creature research. That won't even take very long. This is fine. Alright then, back to work. Uh, I'm not stopping for the gems right now, but it's good to know that they are there. That might come in handy. This might actually be the closest source of tier 2 gems that I have. We'll see, I suppose. Perform a ritual. Okay, more mysticism. And also a spiritual blessing. Nice. Okay, let's keep moving. So like I said, we'll check out the main island. This way. I'm sure we'll find something. Just one tier 3 resource would be more than fine. And we got some mithril for free. Nice. Scale leather, silver, okay. That's tier 2, but good to know. Gold. A lot of metal on this island. There might be material around here, which would be quite nice. I definitely wouldn't mind. Uh, gather whatever you can and leave. 13 granite. Yep, that's not too bad. Enchanted leather, gold and topaz. Okay, that's still tier 2. What's happening here? Give up food or fight. Not sure if I want to fight them. I don't know if we can actually win. We got some decent damage, but it will be a tough fight. We might not be able to win. I'm just going to give up some food. I actually brought quite a lot of extra, it's fine. It's not even that much. Honestly, it's no big deal. Alright, let's find some tier 3 resources. Just tier 2 metal so far. Yeah, these fights are going to be hard. I'm definitely not doing this one. Leave him be. I don't think I can do a 7 difficulty fight right now. Probably not. Bloodbone. Okay. Silver, topaz, gold. Nothing tier 3 so far. Well, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. It has to be. 
no artifacts either, because if there's a terrain artifact on your non-starting island, it will be a tier 3. And also, we are done with the research. We can still do a bit of research, but there's no need. Should we maybe craft something? Or just get more dryad wood? We actually have a lot of dryad wood right now. Can we make something just from dryad wood alone? Well, we can actually, we could make a bow. Can't quite make an elemental bow from that. Yeah, not quite. If I had one more enchanted leather, then I could. Well, never mind. We don't need another codex all that much. Can we make another decent heavy armor? I suppose we can, sort of. We don't have enough metal, do we? We got iron, which is not that great. What about quartz? Yeah, I think I'm going to make one, because that is going to be useful regardless. Especially the elemental armor that will have all types of shielding. Let's make one. And what's going to be our chance? That is actually not bad, and we can get one more person, quote-unquote. Yep, 10% chance to get a trash item. This is fine, that's acceptable. And we will definitely use that. We got several characters who can use it. So I don't want to go too far north. Ruby, let's just embark and check the other side. We are right here. Yeah, I think we are a little bit too far north. Let's check this side of the island. Because I want it to be as close to our actual village as possible. You know, for gathering expeditions. Scale leather, quartz, fur leather. Okay, more scale leather. There's mithril, nice. Okay, so I could gather both mithril and either enchanted leather or scale leather. Weird thing here. And let's gather that right away. I think I would prefer enchanted leather because that's a wild version. Where is it? Down here. Yeah, that is a wild version. Need to wait one more turn. Let's check if there's anything else in total range of the material. Yes, there is! A terrain artifact! Okay, and the Lightbringer spawn. We need to be careful with that. So, this is going to be a tier 3 resource. The artifact. We should definitely check that out. But we should also unlock the material because we know for a fact it's here. This is going to be a very nice spot. Mithril and potentially also something else. There's the armor. Let's use that right away. Who is going to use it? How heavy is it again? 183. Okay then. Can anyone actually use it or not quite? Well, if I remove one of the crafting tools, then yeah, I could use it. It's just in case we get attacked. Hold on, 48. And the other one? 77. I think this guy can use it. Here, no, not quite, really? Alright then. She can use it. Here, 259 out of 275. That will do. That means I can't really equip much else. But that's fine. That's going to be very nice armor for her. Carry on then. Are they assigned? No, they are not. Let's just gather some dryad wood. Can we make anything else with just dryad wood? What about medium armor? Well, I don't need some stone or metal for that. But we got exactly 12 quartz. Might not be a bad idea to craft some generic armors. Then again, we can always do it later. What about a lighter crafting tool? Because that's something we could definitely use. If I use gems, it's going to be much lighter than the other versions we have. We also got 11 enchanted bone, but I don't think that's enough to actually make anything. I'm pretty sure it's not. Well, actually, it would be sort of enough to make a scroll. What could we make with that? Interesting. Well, we could make an enchanted scroll. 
This is actually really tempting. Very tempting. 1.2 ghostly axe. So that has true damage, which is 150% damage if the target has armor. It can be used in spiritual challenges. And it's a single ranged attack. So it targets one enemy in the melee row in front of the character. If there's none, any enemy on the battlefield can be targeted. That is quite tempting. I'm strongly considering it. Although, it's a little bit weird, because it's a scroll that uses perception. I'm not too sure about that. Well, what about a lighter crafting tool? Because we could make one. I don't have that many gems, but we could definitely make one. Let's say we use topaz. And then... Quartz is 3.5. So we could use that, or we could just use, like, amber or so. I would rather save tier 2 gems for something else. Especially when I'm already using topaz. Yeah, this would be pretty nice. 125% increase in crafting. This version would also give us some sanitary regeneration. But not as much crafting. It will be super light though, I need to think about this. For now, let's just gather more dreadwood, can't go wrong with that. And some food as well. Here, that will do. Back to our main group. How much time do you guys need? Oh yeah, five turns, we literally just started it. Okay, let's see what we can get. We are still going to need... Well, we might not need another advancement point, it will depend on what exactly this is, because if it's, let's say, armored stone, metal composite, or golem leather, then I will be able to unlock those right there. Wait, no, I can't. They require three points. Right, let's just find out what this is to begin with. We can always get points the next time, or whatever. And no, do not invite her in. Oh well, whatever, it's fine. What's happening? You are approached by an odd company of three. The first, an elf, introduces themselves as Aniel. The second is a fat goblin. Okay. They ask to join your campsite. Fine. Okay. We got a test. We can probably do the second one. Uh, yeah. And we got a shadow wand. Yeah, that's not super useful. We also got plus 2.0 mysticism, but on our hunter. Yeah, that's not super useful, but I will probably use it on someone. Is that really better than Masterwork Amber Wand? Well, actually, it's about the same, really. Okay, never mind. Anyhow, we got a level up. Plus two mysticism is not going to be super useful, because thing is, he can't be a witch, obviously. The witch class is female only. That's the actual literal requirement. So no, it can't be him, that's not going to work. I'm more leaning towards perception. Let's get some perception. And for the Guardian, I'll actually pick up some Weeds. Wait, no, I think he has at least one Destiny-based attack, but it's only like five Destiny right now. Yeah, let's get Weeds, that's fine. And we'll stay here for a bit, gathering Mithril. What did we get here? Oh, it's another Mithril. I thought it was supposed to be a Tier 3 when it's non-home island. Well, I guess I was mistaken. Oh wait, hold on, that is tier 3. Right, I thought it's going to be like even one tier higher, but those are ones that have to be crafted. This is the highest tier that we can actually gather from the world. Right, right. Well hey, this is fine, we got two sorts of metal literally right next to each other. This is fine. And we could unlock one of those next. 
just need an extra point. So, let's gather this. I'm not sure how long I will be staying, but I'd like to get a decent amount at least. How much do we have right now? We got 15. Yeah, we need way more than that. But if some nasty enemies spawn from that Lightbringer's camp, I will definitely get the heck out of here. Absolutely. One thing I would like to bring with me are gems. Because we are really low on some gems, I might unlock that Malachite. Or Topaz. We got Topaz over here. We had a ruby somewhere, but where was it exactly? I remember ruby somewhere. Do we have a ruby on our home island? I don't think we do. I see some coal. Uh, there's a terrain artifact all the way to the south. That's a bit too far away. Yeah, was there a ruby anywhere around here? I thought I remember seeing one. No, I guess not. Oh yeah, there's one over here. That's a little bit far away, but it's not that bad. I think I might pick that up. Because ruby is again a wild resource. Which is way better for crafting elemental and legendary items. Sometimes you literally need wild resource to meet the requirements. The essence requirements. How much longer do we want to stay here? Well, I would say at least four more turns, because we'll get two more batches. I'm slightly paranoid about that camp. Because these things can be quite dangerous. Okay, yeah, this is a nasty event right there. I don't want to risk this. I would rather just ignore him, honestly. Yeah, just ignore him. I don't quite feel strong enough for that right now. Here's another level up. I think I'll grab Ghostly Axe. Yeah, that's fine. As in, upgrade that, because we already have it. So now... Let's try a Hunter. We don't really have a lot of stats here to begin with. Now, this last option can give you some really interesting classes. But it's fairly unlikely to work. I wouldn't mind a second Hunter, really. There, we got one. So now he has 8 perception. Yeah, that's fine. Works for me. So now we could consider unlocking better weapons in ranged. We could unlock expert bows. Make a bow with material. I mean, I don't have to unlock expert bows to make one with material, but I might be able to make a better version. We will definitely use material to make one. That's going to be quite nice. How convenient. So, are we leaving? One more round, maybe? How much do we have? We got 63. I don't want to get too greedy. But, okay, one more round and then we leave. Just don't give me any super nasty events. Two more turns and then we are leaving for sure. Here, one more. There we go. How much do we have? We got 87. That's going to be enough for now. Let's leave. I think I might pass on that ruby. It's tempting. We still have the carry capacity. So it's not really a big problem. And we got time, we got resources. We got 24 more turns worth of food. Not to mention, I can always gather food in this general area. There's a fish over there. I can't quite gather it while gathering the ruby, but... We could. Okay, let's go get it. Our movement speed is very fast, so it's fine. And I want enough ruby for at least one item. Because I seriously need at least some. There are a lot of items that pretty much require gems. And I just really don't have any. Alright, well, first I have to unlock it to begin with, which is fine. Here you go. And let's pick some up. We'll wait for like two batches. And here's another level up. That's going to be, yeah, probably Hunter's Mark. Trash attack is not exactly super useful. Although it will increase our gathering skill. 
still, I would prefer to improve Hunter's Mark. Alright, let's wait for two batches. I suppose I could have unlocked silver and gathered some of that, but nah. One more batch and then we're leaving. Something is coming, yeah, okay, I think we should leave. I might have to do this manually. I might not be able to win this one. Yeah, we are definitely leaving after this. I could forfeit. Let's see what they have first. Because... We might be able to do something. I have this guy. He can't actually do any damage, but he can absorb damage. With his fancy armor. Yeah, okay. We definitely can't do this. Target everything on the battlefield except the caster. No thanks. Forfeit this challenge. We got a spiritual curse. Well, we should be fine though. Investigate. Offered some food as payment. I guess that's fine. And it's autumn. Okay, we're leaving. This is enough. Our sanity and faith is still fine. There's no risk that anyone will die. But if I lose one more fight like that, then yeah, we'll risk actually losing someone. We got enough resources, it's fine. No need to get too greedy. And look at how fast our ship is. We can come back there pretty easily, in just a few turns. How many tiles per turn are we moving again? Like nine? Oh yeah, I know this event. Try to get her through the troubled waters. Yeah, this is going to be hard. Well, we can try, but it's unlikely to work. Yeah, we are going to lose the ship, damn it. I can make another one, because I don't have a lot of dryad wood. But that kind of sucks. I will still try to win this. It's just fairly unlikely to work. Look at that damage. That is a lot of damage. Alright, first get our tank to the front. Yeah, with this attack I have to be in the front line, unfortunately. Okay, on the 14. I still don't think we can do it, but let's try at least. That's literally what I'm doing, trying. Here you go. We got some decent damage and they don't have that much health. 23, 23. I don't know about this. It's going to be rough. This guy again. Here's the problem. I can't really absorb a whole lot of damage here. And, right, hold on. We will only get one more action point. If I want marbs again, I need to use him now. And this guy. He's not entirely useless, we can use him. And then I'm thinking Marbs one more time. Or one of the dudes in the back line. I don't want this damage though. Okay, fine. Here, let's see how much damage we'll do. I don't actually think we'll win, but... Let's give it a shot. I won't lose anyone because this is like a challenge. Nobody is actually going to get killed. We'll just face negative consequences in the form of losing our ship. But if I declined to try, we would have lost the ship anyway. It was actually fairly close. Like, I don't think I can actually do it, but it was really damn close. If I had some extra damage, then I could. Damn it. Yeah, this is actually extremely close. We almost did it. Oh well. It was worth a shot. Yeah, we're definitely not going to do it like this. Too many of them and they have too much health. Not happening. It was a good try. So unfortunately that means we lost our ship. Wait, does it? Oh, hold on. Because that event usually means you lose your ship. No, we still have our ship. Okay then, well, let's go back. And we got to level up. I'll pick up good luck, he already has that. 
All right, let's go back before something nasty happens again. Let's go, guys. And then we'll craft something with the mithril. Well, probably a bow for our hunter. I'll craft a bow for our better hunter and then give his current weapon to the other hunter. That makes more sense. Push your way through. Plus one strength, a nice one for our warrior. And let's see what kind of bow we can make. Probably can't make a legendary one, even with expert unlocked. Yeah, probably not. Well, how about... Let's say... Oh no, we don't have enough. Okay. I could always gather more. I want to check the chances of making trash item or something. Or stats, at least. How about like this? 1.4 with true damage and poison damage. Okay. So what if we use... Dark wood? What if we use dark wood and enchanted leather? Yeah, okay. It's almost not worth using mithril for this. I'm just saying. We could also make a battle axe with mithril. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. Here. 2.8 with a regular one. Or 2.1 with true damage and shield leech. Shield leech is actually a very powerful effect. I think this might be a better option for our frontliner. Especially since we lack more warriors. The shield leech effect would be very useful for our existing one. I think this should be it. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.